हाई एवरी वन दिस इज शांत सो वेलकम टू यूर बायोलॉजी टीचर सो टूडे वील वील डिस्कस टेंथ क्लास फर्स्ट लेसन न्यूट्रीशन विच इज ए फूड सप्लाइंग सिस्टम सो बेसिकली ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गेनिजम टेक्स न्यूट्रीशन फॉर द थ्री पर्पसेस सो इन विच वी हैव स्टडीड टू पर्पज ऑलरेडी इन एरियर क्लासेस सो लेट एस सी वॉटर सो फर्स्ट वन इज ग्रोथ एंड development and second one is health and repair we can call it as so when we fall sick we should take proper nutrition then only our body will be repaired so that is one thing and the third one one of the important thing is for maintaining body temperature for the maintenance of body temperature so for the temp for maintaining body temperature also organisms consume nutrition or food so how does it happen so when we take food it will be digested and it will produce energy while producing energy it also produces some amount of heat energy and heat whatever the energy produced we will utilize it for various purposes and heat will be uh utilized for the maintaining the body temperature of an organism so all the organisms need various amount various uh, kinds of uh, nutrients like that might be carbohydrates lipids proteins or some minerals or vitamins whatever that might be so each and every organism needs a wide variety of components for their consumption and uh, not only that even each and every organism have different different modes of nutrient uptake for example if you take an amoeba see it engulfs its entire food molecule into its body for example see this is an amoeba if there is a food molecule here simply pseudopodia will be moving like this like this and it will engulf into the body whereas if you take a uh, human being human being simply we consume right so that is what the thing each and every organism have different different modes of uh, nutrient uptake so so autotrophic nutrition what is autotrophic nutrition means the organisms which are producing their own food by utilizing light and different nutrients from the soil so we can call plants 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 are autotrophs and second one is heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition means so the organisms which do not produce their own food instead they depend on other organisms for their food purpose so all the animals so animals are heterotrophic in nature whereas plants are autotrophic in nature so photosynthesis is very very important which made them as universal food donors universal food donors why do we call them as universal food donors means see the plants are preparing food material okay so whatever the food which is prepared by plants is utilized by entire living kingdom so which like process is making them as universal food donors means that is photosynthesis photosynthesis so what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is nothing but the plants what happens the plants traps light okay that is nothing but light energy okay where in the leaves so in the presence of chlorophyll a pigment called chlorophyll so 
plants trap light energy in the presence of chlorophyll and converts into a chemical energy in the form of a carbohydrate called glucose C H O. Okay, so it converts into a carbohydrate. Not only that, so carbohydrate glucose is a simple molecule. So the plants prepares food. Okay, they convert light energy into chemical energy by utilizing sunlight. Okay, in the presence of chlorophyll, uh, they take minerals from the soil, minerals and water from the soil, and they prepare a simple molecule glucose. That might be. Later on, they prepare a complex molecule called starch. Not only that, even they prepare lipids and also proteins. And there are some complex uh, compounds called secondary metabolites. So, n number of meta uh, n number of compounds will be produced. Complex compounds will be produced from a simpler ones. Okay. See, so, this is a plant so these are roots so the plant is preparing food in the presence of sunlight okay when the sunlight is falling on leaves so the chlorophyll okay the chlorophyll is present in the leaf chlorophyll so this chlorophyll traps the light energy in the leaves and also they take gases like carbon dioxide from the environment and they take minerals minerals and water from the soil okay in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight the the plants produces carbohydrates by utilizing carbon dioxide minerals and water okay so that is what happens in the photosynthesis so now let us see who are the scientists so worked on photosynthesis the first one van neel van neel in the 1931 he formulated a equation from the photosynthesis a basic one he stated that for one molecule for the production of one molecule of glucose one molecule of water and also oxygen is produced he has given the equation like this so in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll so the starch is produced like this and van neel worked on purple sulfur bacteria purple purple sulfur bacteria utilizes h2s instead of water and it produces sulfur okay now sulfur so based on this he proposed that so plants produces oxygen in the process of photosynthesis that is what his statement later on a scientist called robert hills robert hill experimentally proved that whatever the oxygen released during photosynthesis is from water okay so we call it as hills reaction so what is it stated we said that so whatever the oxygen is released is from water okay that is what he stated okay six molecule six molecules of carbon dioxide 12 molecules of water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it will produce 
one molecule of glucose six molecules of water six molecules of oxygen will be released in the environment that is what the equation of photosynthesis through photosynthesis the plants are producing food material so now let us confirm whether the food food molecules are present in the leaf or not so to know that to confirm that we have to do a small activity starch test so first thing we have to what we have to do we have to take a small leaf okay and we have to put this into a test tube and we have to add methylated spirit to it methylated spirit okay so that is one thing and next we have to take what we have to do we have to take a bunsen burner okay and we have to put a tripod stand tripod stand on that we have to arrange a mesh or cage which is coated with the uh, asbestos asbestos will be coated like this white color will be there in the middle so on that we have to put a water bath what is water bath water bath is nothing but a beaker with water so a beaker with water and we have to boil it okay that is what that is we call a water bath on this we have to put the test tube so like this okay in this we have methylated spirit we have to boil it for half an hour around okay after boiling what happens the green color pigment whatever the present which will be removed the methylated spirit methylated spirit whatever the methylated spirit is present that will remove the chlorophyll pigment okay this is water bath this is a stand tripod stand this is bunsen burner okay bunsen burner this is a test tube so after boiling for half an hour to 40 minutes what we have to take we have to take this leaf out with the help of a brush and we have to keep that in a petri dish or wash glass whatever it might be okay so on that what we have to do now we have to add few drops of tincture iodine iodine okay so we have to add iodine when you add iodine what happens the leaf will turn into dark blue color or black color okay that confirms by doing this experiment we can see that we can understand that so turning of a leaf into a dark blue color confirms that so the leaf is containing starch in it okay so we have seen through photosynthesis plants produces uh, food material which is uh, helping the entire living kingdom to take food right universal food donors we are saying that so by doing this experiment we can con we can understand that the plants are having food material okay the leaves are having food material now let us see <coughs> the factors which are essential for the process of photosynthesis first one is water so one element is a scientist who found the essence of uh, water in the process of photosynthesis but he don't know the process of photosynthesis but he said that water is essential for the plant growth okay and increase in its weight we have seen like he has studied in 7th class that uh, increase in plant uh, weight so is not only depending on the soil it's also depending on water and some other factors in the air that is what he stated okay we have seen, seen this in 7th class so essence of water is found by mr von hilmant okay 
so that is one the thing the next one is air okay in the year 1770 so joseph priestley conducted various experiments to understand the role of gases in the process of photosynthesis so joseph priestley and he found oxygen in the year 1774 okay later on levoisier named it as oxygen in the year 1775 so priestley conducted a series of experiment so to understand uh, the role of gases so he has conducted a bell jar experiment first he has taken a bell jar okay bell jar and he kept a rat or mice and a candle burning can candle he observed within few minutes so the rat get uh, suffocated and the candle exhausted when he put a mint a mint plant along with these two he observed the candle was still burning and uh, the rat was alive so based on that she said that the candle the burning candle and rat are removing gas some gas from the jar that is why they are suffocated and they are exhausting whereas the mint plant is restoring that air which is present in the bell jar okay so later he generalized he said that the animals are removing the air which is restored by the plants so what is that gas that is nothing but oxygen so that is what his statement okay so who is removing the air the rat and the burning candle so who is restoring them plants so the plants are restoring the air which is removed by the animals in the environment that is what his statement now let us see the essence of carbon dioxide in the process of photosynthesis so moles conducted experiment that's why we call it as moles experiment or moles half leaf leaf experiment for that first we have to take a destarched plant what does it mean it means we have to take a plant in a pot and we should keep that in the dark for one week so that whatever the food material is present in the leaf will be uh utilized by the plant and there will not be any food material or starch in the leaf that is what we call as destarched plant now so this is the plant which is destarched now what we have to take we have to take a wide mouth wide mouthed bottle a bottle which is wide enough to insert the leaf and now we have to add some amount of koh solution or pellet okay and we have to put a cork on it a cork okay this is a cork and there should be a split in the middle the cork should be split in the middle so that the leaf will be inserted in it so we should arrange like this so like this this is koh okay so this is cork might be and we should keep this entire setup in the sunlight for 4 to 5 hours okay what happens later 
okay. So, after 4 to 5 hours we have to take this leaf out this is a test leaf and this is a control okay this is normal leaf okay there is no setup any experimental setup here. So, this is a test leaf which we are testing. So, we have to take this leaf and this leaf out okay the this leaf and this leaf. So, now we have to do uh, depigmentation we have to remove chlorophyll by boiling in the methylated spirit which we have done earlier we have seen that experiment earlier. So, we have to boil these two leaves in the methylated spirit. So, here this one here this one okay. later we should put this in a wash glass or petri dish ok. We should add iodine to it ok iodine. So, what happens this leaf entire leaf will be turning into black ok or dark blue color ok which by seeing this we can say that. So, the starch is pre present in this uh, leaf. Whereas, if you if you see this leaf what happens the portion which is outside to the bottle the portion which is present outside to the bottle which turn into dark blue color dark uh, blue color and the leaf which is present in the bottle portion will be pale color. So, why why, why does it happen why means see when we add KOH or KOH pellets to the bottle in the bottle what does it why, why does it happen. So, the entire KOH will take entire carbon dioxide it will absorb total carbon dioxide in the bottle means the portion the leaf portion which is present in the leaf uh, in the bottle will not get carbon dioxide ok. So, whereas the outside portion will get carbon dioxide it will take carbon dioxide from the environment, but inner portion will not get carbon dioxide. So, it is not available why because KOH absorbed entire carbon dioxide ok. So, that is what the rule of KOH in this experiment. So, means this portion do not get carbon dioxide. So, no photosynthesis in this portion, but outer portion carbon dioxide is there so that is why photosynthesis is there ok. So, by doing is this experiment we can understand we can say that carbon dioxide is needed for the process of photosynthesis. Now, let us see the next factor light light is very important for the process of photosynthesis and light is a provider of energy for the photosynthesis. So, earlier we do not know until and unless uh, the two scientists naming so John Ingenos and Engelman. So, these are the two scientists who have contributed more about light. So, uh, John Ingenos so he experiment an aquatic plant so aquatic plant hydrilla ok and he put this uh, plant in a sunlight ok he put this hydrilla plant in the water and put in sunlight and other setup in the dark. He observed he noticed that only the plant which was kept in the sunlight was producing some bubbles ok and in those bubbles was the gas was oxygen whereas, in the dark nothing will happen. So, based on this he found he, he said that. So, in the sunlight only the oxygen the plants are producing the oxygen that is what he stated. After Ingenaus Engelman in the 20th century he found that maximum rate of photosynthesis maximum rate of photosynthesis occurs in the red and blue light only in the presence of blue light only. So, he has conducted experiments on algae ok. He exposed this algae to the different different colors colors of light ok. So, colors and later he conducted 
experiment on photosensitive bacteria okay photosensitive bacteria and he illuminated different different colors on it okay see when he exposed this bacteria to the various colors the bacteria crowded around red and blue color light only so when he exposed this bacteria to various colors these photosensitive bacteria crowded around red and blue color light only by this what does he, he said that in the presence of red and blue color only the maximum rate of photosynthesis is occurring okay so that is how these two engelman and john hinginous contributed to understand the essence of light in the photosynthesis and john hinginous has conducted a experiment to understand the release of oxygen in the process of photosynthesis or in the presence of light only okay so let us see this experiment okay production of oxygen in the presence of light in the process called photosynthesis okay in the photosynthesis process oxygen is evolving it is produced but that happens only in the presence of light okay not in the dark that is what he said john ingenos okay so he has taken a beaker okay a beaker we have to take this two sets not one set and he has taken water plant aquatic plant hydrilla okay on hydrilla he put a funnel reversely on it and he filled with water okay and he took a test tube with water and he arranged that test tube inwardly on the funnel so this is what the basic setup and we should take care that the water level should be in the beaker it should be above the this mouth of a test tube and the funnel length okay it should be like this it should be above to the this point now we should keep we should take two sets prepare two sets of this experiment and one should be put in the light one in the light and second one is in the dark okay after 4 to 5 hours or 3 to 4 hours what will happen so whatever the setup which is put under sunlight okay that will produce oxygen okay here we can see a bubbles okay around plant not only there even in the walls of funnel some amount some small bubbles will be moving like this also and it will be collected in the test tube okay whereas in the dark no bubbles will be observed there will not be any bubble in the setup which is put in the dark okay so now if you want to observe which gas is present in it we have to take a match um, a match box or else we can say and take uh, incense stick so while removing what should we do we have to put we have to take like we have to take this test tube like this we should put our thumb finger on test tube and we should remove like this if you do remove directly what will happen whatever the gas will be present will be moving out to avoid that what should we do we have to take we have to take our finger thumb finger at uh, this test tube mouth and we should remove like this and if you put a burning uh, mastic near near the mouth so it will burn brightly okay by by that we can understand that whatever the gas is produced okay that is oxygen this experiment is done by mr john ingenaus in the 18th century okay so now let us see the light is necessary for the process of photosynthesis black paper experiment black paper experiment 
okay so to do this experiment this activity we need a d starched plant so this is a d starched plant okay so we have to take it out now we have to take a black paper and we should do we should cut we should cut some shape on it so might be a star or rectangle whatever that might be so like this a star shape cut should be there now we should arrange this black paper on leaf like this so we have a cut here in the middle a star shaped cut like this and we should arrange a paper clip here and here now we should put this entire setup in the sunlight for 4 to 5 hours after 4 to 5 hours we should take this leaf and this leaf out okay or we can take this leaf and we should conduct iodine test okay iodine test so if you test this leaf with iodine what happens the portions which are exposed to the sunlight see when you put this entire setup in the sunlight what happens the sunlight will fall on this portion this portion and also this middle star portion in the remaining portion the sunlight will not pass why because this is a black paper right this is entire black paper so due to that the sunlight will not fall on that portion right see here this one so here sunlight is passing here also it is exposed to sunlight this star portion also since we have a cut here this also exposed to sunlight this remaining portion is not exposed to the sunlight okay when we conduct iodine test what happens this portion will turn into dark blue color this portion will turn into dark blue color and this star portion also ex turn into dark blue or black color this portion will be pale color why is it so why because this portion is not exposed to sunlight that is why it is in pale color by this black paper experiment we can understand the sunlight is important for the process of photosynthesis light is essential for the process of photosynthesis not only sunlight any light when sci scientists conduct equipment in the um, laboratories there will not be any sunlight but artificially we arrange light there even in the japan also they do agriculture in the compartments not in the land 